CVL process in Scotland. When a limited company becomes insolvent, it's important for directors to place the interests of creditors first and do all they can to minimise further losses. Creditors' voluntary liquidation is an insolvency process that allows this to happen and ensures directors comply with strict insolvency laws. What is creditors' voluntary liquidation? Creditors' voluntary liquidation is a formal debt process that insolvent companies can enter into if they have unmanageable debt levels and the company is no longer viable as a trading entity. It involves selling business assets to repay creditors before closing the company down in an orderly manner. Middlebrooks helps businesses to deal with debt. We can help you determine whether CVL is the right process for your company using our extensive professional experience and technical knowledge. So how does CVL work and why might this process be a good option? Directors take the decision to place their company into CVL but must obtain a majority vote of 75% of shareholders. A liquidator is appointed and creditors informed of the situation. Assets are sold and the proceeds distributed to creditors in the statutory order of priority. The company is then removed from the company's house register and closed down permanently. Board meeting. The liquidation process is started by the directors. At a board meeting, they pass a resolution that the company is insolvent and instruct an insolvency practitioner's firm to assist the directors with the steps required to place the company into liquidation. These steps will require members to consider and pass resolutions to wind up the company, usually during a formal meeting. This shall be followed by the decision procedure for creditors. Resolution of members. Written resolutions must be passed in order to wind up the company. The members must consider a special resolution that the company cannot, by reason of its liabilities exceeding its assets, continue its business and that it is advisable to wind up the company. The special resolution requires a majority of 75% of those present and voting in person or by proxy. The members also nominate the liquidator. This requires an ordinary resolution passed by a simple majority of more than 50% of those present and voting. Decision procedure for creditors. Following the meeting of members, the creditors are given the opportunity to consider these resolutions and the appointment of an insolvency practitioner either by what's called a deemed consent procedure or by holding a virtual meeting of its creditors. The purpose of these processes is to allow the creditors an opportunity to get involved in the process. The process has adapted in recent years in order to reduce the need to hold physical meetings to make decisions. Once the decision has been made to wind up the company, it would normally cease to trade. The directors must prepare a statement of affairs and provide information on the company's history and trading. Advantages. Directors of an insolvent company can voluntarily take steps to wind up the company, limiting ongoing liability for trading whilst insolvent. No court involvement required, speed and cost benefits. Disadvantages. The company will no longer be able to trade, the liquidator will take control of the assets. The main points to consider when facing liquidation are, the liquidator will take control of the company and be responsible for all the selling of its assets. Creditors with security over the company's assets are entitled to be paid first and receive money from the proceeds of that asset sale. Directors have no further control over the company. The liquidator is required to submit a report on the insolvency service, read the conduct of directors upon their appointment. When the liquidation is complete, the liquidator notifies the Register of Companies for Scotland and the AIB and a notice is placed in the Edinburgh Gazette. The company is dissolved generally three months after this notice has been placed.